Hello guys, Nika Ross here to let you guys know how my window training exam went. Um, well, first off, let's dive into the big shebang. I passed the exam. Yes, yes. I hope you guys are cheering for me. I hope you guys are cheering for me. So all of us there had to go to a, another post office which was actually the one in Philadelphia, because as I said, I live in Pennsylvania. So this was a different location from where we had the actual train in. Okay, so we got there, they told us to come in 50 minutes earlier than the time we were supposed to be there. We got there, we um, they went over the last two modules in that book that you cannot take home, which is a textbook. Now, I don't understand why they had to give us that or go over that when we have an exam, such a big one at that. Um, it didn't make sense to me because bear in mind, you know, you, you're studying the day before and, and, and days prior to that. And then here I am ready for the exam and you're adding two more module in my brain. Like it's just too much. Nonetheless, we got through it. Um, we did that for, I want to say two hours or three and then we went to lunch so we did that for about three hours yeah and then we went to lunch um lunch was 30 minutes then we came back to that room um that we started off um doing the last two modules then um they're like okay so you guys can study for two hours on your own now all of us in that classroom um pretty much got connected to each other because everyone is in there for the same goal, which is to pass that exam. So we all bonded um, professionally. So we studied together, which was good. So all of us sat close to each other with our masks and we studied um, and asked questions and, and stuff like that. So, which definitely helped a lot. So from there, once we did that for the two hours, then it was time to take the exam. So now the, the, the actual exam is taken in a separate room inside of that distribution center because that's where we were. It, didn't, it wasn't like a, regu- like a post office. It was actually a, a distribution center where they had a lot of different jobs in there on different floors and stuff like that. So that's where. So it's a, it's a huge building. So we went to a different room. And it's set up like like an office setting, like like cubicles where a, a long desk and is separated by, you know, these square um, walls, pretty much. Um, if you push your lean your chair backwards, you can see the next person to your left and your right. So it's like a cubicle, but you can't see them when you're, you know, anyway, the computer is sitting right there inside of those cubicles and. You know, the the lady that was watching us while we were taking the exam, she she sat there. She probably got up a um, couple times um, briefly, but she pretty much sat there um, for an extended period of time till we were finished. Um, she told us that we we're not allowed to talk and stuff like that. So we did not speak to each other at all, like literally. Um, for, and the test is two hours long, right? So it's 100 questions and two, two hours long. So, um, all of us, we did our thing. And, um, when we were finished, she was like, okay, you guys could step outside. It was, um, one lady that, um, took a long time, not that long, but everyone, we, we were all waiting on her. So we, when she came out, then we went back to, that room that all of us were studying together in where the instructors did the module because instructors came there right from that was teaching us at a post office they came to the distribution center as well and they brought the books the textbook and stuff like that so um we sat there you know they were asking us how did we think we did and stuff like that and and you know just going over stuff that we remembered from the exam and stuff like that and say, Oh my gosh, we didn't get that. We got this. We didn't get that. Um, so 
the lady came back and said, the one that was watching us while we were taking the exam, she said, oh, give me 20 minutes. I'm going to pull the results and I'll call you guys out one by one. So she came and um, called two ladies out first. And then she came back, um, which is one by one. She called two ladies one by one. So when the second lady, uh, she came and got a second lady and they left. Sometime after she came back, she was like, everyone in here passed. And it was just like a huge burden off my shoulders because I don't want to lose my job. I don't know if you watched my first video, my video before this one. My job depended on me passing that exam because I got hired as a part-time flexi, so which is a, a career position. So I was going to lose my job if I didn't pass. Now, um, after that, she gave us this sheet of paper that, that says that you pass. And, and there's no percentage, by the way. So it's not like, oh, you can see or they tell you. They just go off of it, you being eligible. That's, the, that's it, quote unquote, eligible. So that's the passing. So then she gave us a sheet of paper where it's like a time sheet where you, when you go on your on the job training, because that's my next step or that's the next step from passing the exam. You go on your on the job training um, and which is also going to be in a different location for me because um, there's no one at my post office where I work. There's no one that uh, trains like a T7, they call it. Okay. Now. I also forgot to mention, once you start going into the window training, you are not supposed to report to work, to where you work. Like that's, that's on ice until you finish the exam. Okay. Uh, or pass the exam rather. Um, so from there, um, she gave us a, this envelope as well. And she's like, oh, when you get to on the job training, they're supposed to sign here and they're going to put the sheet of paper in and mail it to her so she can see our hours that we worked for. Okay, cool. Now let's get into the actual test. <laughs> oh goodness. Where do I begin? Let's see. So this, this exam to me was easy. Okay. It was easy to me. Because the things that I studied for from the book and, and the questions that I told you guys in my video before this that are in the book at the end of each section, it wasn't even on the test. That's, that's the craziest part. Like, you didn't... Need, it, okay, out of 100, I would say 10% out of the 100 came from the book, maybe even a smaller percentage came from the book, but not worded the same way, but it came from the book. Then 80% or 85% was common sense stuff, like co pretty much common sense stuff relating to the post office, if that makes sense. And then um, that small 5%, was like unknown stuff, things, there were a couple of things, three things in there. I remember specifically that we were not taught, but it was, but it was on the test, you know, um, the test is easy. I'm telling you, the test is easy. Let me tell you what I'm talking about when I said common sense stuff. The very last question on the test, because there's two versions of the test, by the way, okay? There were no, there were nothing in there about forms that you needed to remember. Like they're saying, okay, what is this form or what is that form? No, they meant, they say the form, tell you what the form is called and then ask you like, what do you do with it or stuff relating to what you do with it? Um, the very last question on the test was pretty much, it's not going to be word for word, but it was saying, what do you greet customer? Uh, it's, I'm sorry. It's saying, what should you have? 
as a window clerk, they call it SSA, when you are the first thing that a customer should see when they um, approach the, the window clerk. And the answer, obviously, is smile, right? That was on there. Like, that's the common sense stuff. Like, so um, don't psych yourself out. Make sure you get um, some rest and try to calm your nerves. I promise you that this test is not as hard as you think it is. Not even close. Like, I knew I passed it. As I'm taking the exam, I knew I was going to pass. I was tense when I walked in there. And once I started taking the exam, I started to get relaxed. I was literally finished in 20 minutes. Less than 30 minutes. Okay. It's not hard, guys. I promise you. Like, I believe in you that you could pass this exam because it's not hard. Also, before I go, I do want to let you guys know that I do have an online business and my website is bossbabebeauty-cosmetics.com and there you will find organic products for the entire body, like literally the entire body. Feel free to check out the website and also feel free to make a purchase. Yes, your support would be highly appreciated. Thank you so much for listening, guys. And wherever you are in this world, never stop chasing your dreams. Never stop going for the prize. Take care.